is a matter of contention on how the Public Order Management Act should be interpreted. Opposition rallies have majorly been disrupted by police using the law that they consider draconian. In May last year, parties met under iPod and made a raft of recommendations for its amendment, but months later, they're back with little progress. These recommendations include defining an authorized officer to receive notification under Section 5 of POMA, defining what amounts to a public place as per Section 4, prescribe the procedure for filing the notice with police before a public meeting is held, prescribe what would be included in the reply to notification for a public meeting and the effect if police does not reply in 48 hours, and prescribe the timeline of conducting a spontaneous meeting, among others. We call upon the government of Uganda to expedite the process of approving the proposed PAMA regulations that were developed jointly as political leaders. The parties are worried that if not urgently reviewed, the misinterpretation of the act is likely to disrupt the next general elections. We are concerned that this continued contention around the interpretation and the interpretation of POMA are going to heighten tensions and will disrupt the smooth running of the upcoming general elections. But the call for the Act's amendment and interpretation is also being sounded by the ruling party, which enjoys the biggest share of public rallies. So definitely what FDC goes through, what DP goes through, what Gemma goes through, we also feel it. And then it's, it's not that we are crying. The Minister for Internal Affairs is supposed to come up with guidelines to the Public Order Management Act. These guidelines are supposed to indicate whether or not public meetings, assemblies and processions should be held at, uh, in, pub, in uh, crowded areas like their markets, should there be a procession near a market. According to the iPod Secretariat, they gave government different proposals in regards to the implementation of the Public Order Management Act, but so far nothing much has been done. So they intend to reach out to the Prime Minister on the 17th of March so as to find out how government is treating these proposals. The Inter-Party Organization of Dialogue is a meeting platform for political parties in the country under which they address the issues that are most pressing to multi-party dialogue. Ali Mivole, NTV. Sure. <laughs>